<laughs> I'm an avid collector of like little tchotchke things. This is my favorite though. It's a little rat puppet. Twenty-one years old for ten days now. I have so much on my plate, I hardly have time to feel guilty. Is this what putting yourself first feels like? I've reached the binding of this book. A lot to reflect on. Live. So this is my mother when she was my age, Justine Watson. So when she was my age, she was working for the airlines and meeting all sorts of famous people because they'd still fly commercially. Uh, but she got free tickets to go anywhere and she'd always go to this festival. And she finally decided to like just rip one of the posters out that was showing like all the bands that were playing, like The Cross, Cheap Trick, she saw all of these are incredible bands that she got to see. Cigarette burn from the 80s. It's always gonna be there. I love it. I live in bed Brooklyn. Just moved here about two months ago, two to three months ago. This apartment's amazing. I got my own big space that I could decorate any way I want, which is something I love to do. I love love decorating, just making my wall, my own little pieces of art. I don't know if you watch Skins. Um, my generation, see, I'm 21. So my generation, we loved Skins, early 2000s, high school drama, British. It was amazing. Um, but that's how I get a lot of my fashion sense from. They had incredible costumes in that show. Um, but what I noticed is that everything's just a little bit off, right? So like this green beret and like this suede jacket that I love, I love putting them together. And here's another shade of green now. <laughs> green is obviously my favorite color. I'm just having a blast being myself, discovering what I'm into, skateboarding, guitar, uh, reading, writing poetry. Heejing, I have a poem that I need to introduce to you really quick. I can grab it right over here. First magazine I was ever published in. Um, there's a conversation with me in there by my very good friend, uh, Justin Irby. He's the bomb. Um, favorite page. So the poem is called Smoking on a Southern Stoop. I, I'm from North Carolina, so I wrote this <laughs> after smashing my head on the ground and getting this big eye, this big scar on my eye. So a lot of what is in this poem kind of alludes to that accident, my rock bottom. This is when that was written. It's a little melancholy, bear with me. Smoking on a Southern Stoop. I watch with puffy eyes the bugs that waltz between my ashes. I flick from the shelter of a Southern Stoop when it rains. I'm tired, I feel slow. But I'm grateful for your hands that cut my cheeks and how my smile can read the lines on your palms. I could almost tell where you will be tomorrow or the next day or the next. And without the thin layer of blood that invades the whites of these puffy eyes, would I skip the beauty that plays hide and seek within the mundane? Poem by Liv Lennon. So this is just my personal like journal. I, it's almost like a scrapbook of my life. So whenever I turn like 50 and I'm bored and I'm sipping my wine and in my high rise apartment, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna whip this out of the closet and take a trip down memory lane. You know what I mean? Uh, that's us waiting outside for Saturday Night Live. We waited all night cause Jonah Hill was hosting. 
It's inside my favorite bar and outside my favorite bar. <laughs> it's funny looking through old journal entries. It's just, it's nice to look back at when, when you're feeling sad and you need something to pick you up. I have a few entries in here, like pictures and stuff like that that just kind of cheer me up, poems that cheer me up. Um, this is something I wrote when I spent, after spending a week in New York City after moving from North Carolina when I was really young. Um, my bones turned to ash and a lullaby lifted me up, 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 past the paper skyscrapers and through the plastic clouds. My bitter black coffee swirled to lemonade and shouted back, being flushed and sitting still are only trials of yesterday, Liv. Having the giggles and disrupting puddles, the innocence of a shy child can never be put to bed. I was young for a reason, I will always play. way out of tune. So this is uh, After Hours by the Velvet Underground. I just started taking uh, real lessons about a month ago, so let's see how this goes. It's a very cute song. One, two, three. If you close the door, I'll never <laughs> forgot the lyrics. Oh no. Okay. One, two, three. If you close the door, and the night could last forever, bring the sun to shine out and drink a toast. To never All the people are dancing And they're having such fun I wish it could happen to me But if you close the door I'd never have to see the day again <laughs> Thank you